The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our block or bubble letters. We're going to do this by drawing lightly. I'm going to pick a word, six letters or less, something that uh, I'm attached to, and I'm going to pick the word chip. That's the name of our classroom bed. So I'm going to go ahead and very lightly, you can barely see it, very lightly I'm going to write the word chip. Okay, so I, so far I've drawn lightly and I've made kind of these ghost letters. So anyway, uh, we're going to go, oh, there's Chip. He's checking it out. Anyway, he's pretty happy about that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a block or a bubble around my ghost letters. Now I can't touch my ghost letters. I'm just going to work my way around them. Now I rounded off the edges, so that's obviously a bubble letter. Now this one, I'm going to make a block letter. This has hard angle. And notice I'm going nowhere near my ghost letters. And of course, I've filled the entirety of my paper. It's taking up the whole space. So now I'm going to make another bubble letter. And obviously, we're just going to go block bubble, block bubble. Now this has an inside part, this letter P. So I'm going to have to make a little bubble on the inside, too. And then now that I've done those letters, I get to erase that ghost. We could barely see him anyway. And I've drawn lightly, so check it out. This is a piece of cake to erase. I just don't even have to do much work at all here. And almost finished. And oops. all done. I'm going to just blow the eraser, eraser bits away. And I, of course, have my block and bu bubble letters. Some of you may already know how to make block and bubble letters. So if you already know how to do it, then by all means, don't take the long route. But if you don't know how to do it, that's a, a good shortcut. And then, of course, now I'm taking my Sharpie marker. I'm carefully going over my lines. And if you go outside the lines just a little bit, it's no big deal. You just erase the pencil marks. And, of course, if you have any pencil marks showing, you are going to want to erase those. So now I'm tracing over every single pencil mark. That's part of our tracing. Look, I'm just missing those lines completely. I'm going to have a lot of erasing to do, aren't I? There, I did it again. I wasn't very careful at all. Now, I'm going to go back in with my eraser and clean it up a little bit. Now that the word color wheel is finished, as you can see, Chip is very proud of it because all of the pencil marks are gone and, and we're going to be able to get started with our paintings.